Привет, товарищи, and welcome back to some more glorious KGB tactical espionage action. Hope you guys have been enjoying this series. We're going to continue, obviously, where we left off. Just as a quick recap, we are currently looking into what Patriots dossier will tell us about their true identity. And in case you've forgotten, again, just as a reminder here, uh, if we go to the analytics investigation board over here, you'll see we've only collected two pieces of intel out of nine. And that means we have to go hunting for some more intelligence, for some more information. And there are a couple of pips of suspicious activity going on across uh, the USSR right now. There's also this enemy recon going on, and I'd love to go chasing after it over in Leningrad, but unfortunately, Kodiak is the only one there, and I could dive in for an assault with Kodiak, but it'll only increase my danger by seven. So what I think I'll do instead is send Kodiak home, get him coming back home, allow that enemy recon to complete for just a minimal increase in my danger, and once Kodiak gets back here as well, what I'd like to do is train him, because we have a couple of our uh, agents ready for some additional training, and what I'd like to do is give Kodiak the uh, training in uh, basic firearms drill, mainly because that gives him proficiency with the gal, and we have a gal, and I'd like to give him the gal. Uh, how many times can I say gal, am I right? That will, uh, that will help him use some more equipment. Theremin is still... Uh, actually, wait, no, Theremin's good to go. Walker is still being healed up, patched up in the infirmary. It'll take him some time. And Falcon is almost out, so she'll be okay for our, hopefully, for our next mission as well. But uh, you'll see Falcon actually has a perk available. And what I'm thinking of giving her is faster movement. Again, she's got that silenced pistol. Maybe we can get her using disguises and, and again, being the sneakier type. And having her you know, scuttle about a bit more quickly than others might be a good idea compared to increasing, or rather decreasing the cooldown on focus or increasing maximum awareness as much as I like the sound of that if she's behind enemy lines. Let's stick with faster movement for starters. So accept that. And then uh, Kodiak over here again has to get back home before we can train him while Theremin can get an additional perk. And here I'm thinking we might want to go with Stalker. It increases the maximum range of the Overwatch cone. Again, Theremin is our actor disguise user, right? So I'm tempted to get Free Diver, which protects him from gas clouds and things like that. Again, if he really has to go deep undercover and has to go through a dangerous zone, actually, you know what? Free Diver might be the better, more sensible and logical choice over here rather than getting Stalker. As much as I'd like to increase his Overwatch cone, I think Free Diver makes more sense. Well, we're doing it live, so alright, let's change this. We're going to give him Free Diver instead, and he also has a training available, and since he's already here, we will give him, I think, that uh, basic firearms drill. He's already got, what, the Contact Tactics, which gives him the Blinding Laser and Pain Stimulus, makes him proficient with the VZ-61 and the Sparrow. So what I could actually do here is, uh, well, I could give him one of the Sparrows and have the VZ-61 as his alternate piece of equipment there. Or I could just buy another VZ-61 since he'll be proficient with it, more so than the French uh, Dow, as I've been calling it. Um, how do I want to roll this? Let's not, let's not spend 520 bucks just to buy buy a VZ-61. So no, let's not do that. Instead, let's, uh, let's give him training to use the GAL basic firearms drill. That'll make him proficient with a lot more than just... Uh, you know, just the gal, obviously, as you can see. I am tempted to get him empath, but I feel like that's more important for others who won't necessarily begin behind enemy lines. So let's go with the basic firearms drill, kick that training off, and it should take how long? One day and 12 hours. We don't have that kind of time right now. Cancel that. Wait, no. It's too late. We're stuck with this. All right, fine. Fair enough. So one day and 12 hours, he will be out of commission. Kodiak's coming back. He'll be arriving in 14 hours, and Falcon will be ready in two. Walker is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, being healed up. He shouldn't be traveling anywhere. And, all right. Hmm. What I'm thinking is I want to go and investigate some of these other suspicious activity spots, and I want to send agents two at a time. The reason why I want to send agents two at a time is because you'll notice that the uh, tactical recon missions require two agents, and I'm never going to I'm going to try and avoid rather I should say going into an assault without um, without having tactical recon completed unless absolutely necessary. So let's get these two agents moving in. I think everything else has been set up the way I'd like it to be. I could look into my uh, workshop over here, and we could improve some of our equipment or some of our tools. I think better informer search is not a bad idea. Informers are discovered more frequently for 2200, 16 hours. Take some time. We'll make that money back quickly enough. Our danger isn't high enough to make me too nervous, so sure, let's develop that. I mean, famous last words, right? 
famous last words. All right, enough conversation, enough chit chat, enough of an introduction. Let's hit that play button and uh, get everybody back to HQ. We've got some secrets being revealed shortly. We're going to arrive at Irkutsk in just a moment's time. Looks like that's a dead end. Let's allow the other agent to arrive as well. Ooh. Ooh, a lot going on. A lot going on. All right. We'll send Indigo and Marlin out to here. And what's going on over here? Everybody is preoccupied, eh? Everyone's doing something or the other. I mean, Falcon's almost ready to go. She'll be done soon. Referee is forging, and I'd like to keep him there. You know, let's try and keep these guys assigned to their, their jobs to some degree. Eight hours till Kodiak arrives. I shouldn't have trained there. I mean, that was a... Uh... That's a waste of time right now. It's a waste of time right now. Marlin and Indigo are out and about. Walker, 20 hours. All right, well, not much I can do about that other than hiring more agents, and I'm not really looking to do that just yet. This increase in seven danger is not the end of the world. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. All right. We're almost back home with Kodiak. Excellent. So let's send Kodiak and Falcon out both. Begin this job over at Petrop... <sighs> Petropavlovsk. <laughs> I'm trying. There is a video that was shared that uh, tells me how to pronounce a lot of these names, and I'm trying to watch that and learn. But again, it's a completely foreign language. I'm not familiar with it, so I'm, I'm trying, but... Uh, not the easiest, obviously. All right, let's move on over to Gdansk here, which I'm also probably butchering the name of. Ooh. We have found something here. We have enough time for tactical recon, and then we'll be able to assault with Indigo and Marlin. So let's do that tactical recon here. Um, who's going to do it? Well, both of you are going to do it. Recon the mission area. Oh, it'll increase by... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Enemy scout will increase danger by zero. While that's not dangerous, the thing is that I would still like to try and uh, get some intel, because that's our, our main call right now. We need some more intel for the mission we're on. So let's begin this job. Let's try and uh, get in there and up here as well. Let's see if there's anything going on. No, it looks like nothing going on there. Let's move our agents from uh, Petropavlovsk to Vorkuta, because if I do that... I'll be able to respond to any crazy shenanigans that go on. Alright, what's this? Enemy revealed. Sapphire. Alright. Activity and location all unknown. Fair enough. Fortress we're, uh, we're doing some recon on. Ooh. More information from our informer in Vienna. Training unlocked. Fire and movement tactics too. What does that actually give us? Uh, just checking really quickly. So it gives us exertion and improve the movement rate of this character. And opportunist. Confers bonus damage against suppressed characters. Oh, that's not... that's not bad. It's not bad. I'm not gonna train anybody just yet, though. I mean, I'm almost tempted to hire a stuntman here. Only speaks Spanish. A lot of... a lot of Spanish speakers here. I mean, bagpipe. Czech, Slovak, I, I guess that's... I guess that's close enough. <laughs> Ugh. Alright, no, no, no. Let's go back to the map here. Let's try and get this uh, recon done. Let's dive in on that mission before... Uh, Again, just to get the intel, really. So let's dive in on that mission before it completes. Looks like no other suspicious activities popping up. We're almost done there. Okay, excellent. So let's assault. I mean, I could try to pause and see if Kodiak's going to be close enough. No, I've only got two hours. That's not enough time for anybody to travel here. So you know what? We're going to go in with the assault. Kicking it off nice and early. Referee. No. Not referee. Marlin. Marlin in with the BM. That's a rifle. Oh, boy. Do you want to go in with a rifle? We've got the VZ-61. We'll be able to put on disguises. So I, I'll only have one, though, if I'm not mistaken. Sign you. Let's just check here. So we can use... Yeah, we only have one disguise available. Might as well put it on Indigo, I think. And so... Oh, look at that. Little construction worker. All right, Marlin. Let's check your equipment here. So you've got the BM. You've got the VZ... Uh, 61. No equipment for it, unfortunately. Maybe we switch that BM out. Wouldn't mind having the range. 4 to 40 damage. 40 to 70 on a full auto and 13 to 53 on a burst. Reload's kind of expensive. Clip size is 20. But at least this one allows us to uh, burst fire. So we have, hypothetically, what, 7? No. 6 shots before we have to reload. We can also do single shots. So, 6 and then 2 single shots. Okay, you know what? Fine. I like the BM. I like the BM. What about the uh, VZ? I mean, the VZ I know I like. All right, so we're fine here. No mods available. Obviously, we're not doing any training or anything. This is her first mission. Hopefully, she doesn't die. All we have is this light armor, and that's openly hostile, which I don't want to equip. We'll get some first aid in there, and we'll get a flashbang in there as well. No, let's go with the frag grenade. Yeah. 
The flashbang's nice because it, it drops awareness completely. I, well, it can drop awareness completely, but the frag grenade, just to kill, if we get into a really precarious situation, that just allows for easier killing. Man. Not the best stats or anything. This might be, uh... Might be a stretch. Might be a stretch. And let's get ourselves some assistance here as well. I guess, referee, you can hop in. As a spotter, we could get that smoke screen. I'd rather keep the spotter here, and we could get Walker in here as well, I suppose. He's healing up, but I guess he can also provide a smoke screen from a safe distance. I guess he'll just be hooked up to an IV or something. But, uh, yeah, language is Polish. Don't think I have any Polish speakers, do I? Oh, Polish speakers. I could back out and see if I can hire one, but you know what? We've decided to do the assault. Let's pretend like that's actually an order going out, and let's launch this mission and hope that nobody dies. As always, I just want to mention really quickly, if you guys are enjoying this series and would like to see more of it, please do not hesitate to let me know by dropping a like and a comment down below. It does make a really big difference because I look at those numbers when deciding how often to release content for various, you know, things. Uh, and it also helps the channel because of how YouTube algorithms work. Now, this is your kind of standard intro, Burning Lake at Gdansk, which I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of. We just need to kill or capture and then leave. Let's try and go in for that capture, shall we? Let's do a quick little scout first. Let's see what we're dealing with here. We've got one deployment zone down here, one all the way up here. And our mark is up here on the east side, third floor, right next to... Oh no, okay, the camera terminal is down here. Oh, I love having recon available. Makes such a big difference. There's another camera terminal over here. That one will be easy to get to, maybe? I don't know where are these cameras pointing. Hmm. Hmm. What's going on up here? We've got windows over here that'll allow us to spot all the way down. And up here we've got windows. So you know what? We'll want, on the west side, we'll want to have our spotter able to look right down the sides over here, see if there's anything going on. There's some intel up here which we'll want to pick up. And again, we do have indigo in disguise, so that'll be nice and helpful. She'll be able to get in and do a lot for us. And then what else do we have down here? Any more intel somewhere down here, perhaps? That's our entry point. Um, how many pieces of intel are there, in fact? I can check. I can press escape to check. I'll check afterwards if I can't spot them all right now. Well, we know that one is up here. Oh, wait, no. That's one over there, and then I think there is one over here. So two pieces of intel that we can pick up over here, looks like. Both in this building... And this is just our entry zone. So you know what? We're going to deploy... Hmm. The camera's down here. The camera terminal, rather, is down here. Let's deploy up here. We can split up. And uh, we do have undeployed support units remaining. Let's get, let's see, east support, perhaps, to get the smoke screen happening. Allows us for an easy escape. I'm, I'm wondering, I'm not 100% sure how the smoke screen actually deploys. Because what I'd like to do is if... Is if uh, if exfil happens over here as well, I can pop the smoke screen somewhere over here, you know, block shots from the, the windows and all that. So hypothetically, hypothetically, deploying the smoke screen on the east side makes sense. So we've got our deployment zone selected. It's deployment zone number two. Let's begin the mission. And of course, Indigo does start behind enemy lines. She is in disguise. Let's see if we can't pull this off. Let's see if we can't extract the enemy agent. It's it's difficult, obviously, with just two agents. It's going to be hard. But uh, let's put ourselves to the test. All right. One enemy operative. Eliminate or capture. Keep it quiet, if possible. The comrade. We will do exactly that. Here's what we're going to do first. We're going to try and turn some of these cameras off. Let's see. Marlin. If you were to go up this way... I mean... We're not in a restricted area until we get right up to here, it looks like. And we can already spot a couple of enemy agents. There's one over here with 109 HP. God damn. That's the target. Hmm. Well, that's not going to be easy. We're going to have to gun her down. Well, fine. So let's get, uh, let's get Marlin moving up, I think. We can't see a patrol path over here. You've got a bit of a patrol going back and forth, it looks like. And nobody else we can see anywhere. Fair enough. And let's just quickly check. There are, in fact, two pieces of classified docks. Ooh, we've got a baddie over here. So you know what? Here's what we're going to do. He's going to roll down this way. So we're going to just move up to here. 
That way Marlin can take him out early on next turn. How much health does he have? 35, yeah. So he'll, he'll come on up to us. He better not recognize us or something silly like that. We should be able to knock him out and get the hell out of here. One bad guy here, one bad guy here. What's his patrol path? He's going to go back that way. All right, cool. An indigo. Let's just uh, creep on up to over here. We're going to pop this door open first again. Patience is the name of the game, and that's exactly why. So he's going to push back, and there's some loot in here as well, which we can only get from over here. So I could go in, knock this guy out. All right, well, let's close the door first. Nah, okay. I was wondering if I could trick the game into letting me take him down and also close the door behind me. Guess not. Alright, fine. Yeah, easy enough. We're gonna just roll in. We're in disguise. This should not be a problem. I'm always worried. Always worried. Nothing should be able to see us. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna roll in right now. Okay, go in with a takedown. Confirm that. Bam. Excellent. Marlin, you're fine. Don't scare me by panning to you like that. There we go. All right. Please don't, like, recognize me. Or Okay, good. We're good. Ooh, civilians everywhere. And he can probably actually see me if I take this guy down right now. So that doesn't work for me. I trust this is important. Yeah, I mean, it says his cone of vision ends around there, but you know what? I, I don't know. I don't know if I trust the game when it comes to that stuff. I think I'd much rather just wait until a buddy over here gets to gets to what this spot and then we can knock him out over there and where are these civilians going where are you going next you're staying there eh? all right fine fair enough if you want to stay there you can stay there we're just gonna roll on up to here don't mind us nothing suspicious okay stay put for now indigo dispose of this body we're not gonna leave any bodies sitting around this time i cannot believe i made that mistake last session such a foolish mistake and some of you mentioned in the comments as well you were like yelling at the screen yeah, I, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. All right, we're going to move in and do the loot. Pick this up. All right, Bone Crushers. Sounds gnarly. All right, and then let's uh, let's go up to here and close the door first. Before we get spotted in here and something crazy goes on, Indigo, close that door. Thank you very much. And Marlin, I mean, you're fine. There's nothing that I want to do. No abilities that I want to use or anything. Until Buddy here gets right up in our face. Lots of civilians everywhere. God damn. I'm almost wondering if I shouldn't come over here and take this guy out and just hope for the best. No one's gonna look this way next turn. Let's try it. We can dispose of the body at the beginning at the top of the next turn. Okay, here we go. Boom. Done. Guy saw nothing. Dude's just taking a nap. Nothing to worry about. We're all good. Oh, crap. That is a lot of agents. Not agents, necessarily, but, you know, operatives. All right, Marlin, before I forget, we're going to dispose of this body. No one should be able to see us. We should be 100% good. There we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Is there a feminine form of Tovarish, or is that kind of like catch-all? Like, if I'm referring to a female agent operative, should I be saying Tovarish, or should I be saying something else? Someone who speaks Russian, let me know in the comments down below, because uh, I'm curious. There we go. A little bit of button tapping over there. Nothing to worry about. Camera's just turned off. 16 security measures disabled. Madness. Madness. All right, so we picked up our first piece of loot. Is there any more loot nearby? There's another camera terminal over here. Locked door, so we can't get in there, unfortunately. Um, what's upstairs over here? There's this piece of intel that I'd like to get to, of course. So let's make our way upstairs, I suppose. For the intel, and... Hmm. Not seeing any glowing loot. Oh, there's some right there. Alright, so let's go upstairs towards the intel. Because that'll give us some loot as well. And hopefully I'm not being silly and I'm not overlooking a very obvious... There you go. Alright. So first off, we're going to move up to here just so we're in cover in the worst case scenario. Right? Better safe than sorry. My now, Marlin, you have disposed of the body. Beautifully done. You're a wonderful, wonderful secret agent. Now you are going to be coming down this way. 
that will probably put us well, just out of view of this guy, which I like. I can't knock him down this turn. This person is going to look up that way. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. So this guy's probably a no-go for now. We'll see where he loops around to, though. Let's move Marlin. Mm, kind of tempted to keep her where she is. Alright, let's move Marlin right up to over here. I'm just worried about, like, some mechanic that I'm not 100% knowledgeable about popping up to get me. 55. We know that person's got, like, 100-something. Alright, I think we're good. And that turn. Now, to those of you that are actually interested in this series and came through to this channel because of this series, you might also be interested in watching my Battletech uh, series. Just throwing it out there, it's a similar game, you know, the XCOM-style thing, except it's... Uh, Giant mechs, I think, is the best way to kind of summarize it. Uh, it's set in the Battletech universe. If you're not familiar with it, it's a it's a really cool, I mean, generations old universe that uh, well, it's got many fans for many good reasons. So I just thought I'd give that a little shout out if you're interested in more similar types of games. We're gonna send Indigo right through. Uh, actually, mm, I hate. Let's not jump the gun. Literally and like metaphorically speaking, let's just creep our way over, pop this door open. There is nobody. It's also it's also got glass, so we didn't even need to pop it open. Let's close that door again. So when we go through to take that loot, we'll uh, lock it up. All right. So this agent is over here. We don't want to step in his path, obviously. Um, who else is watching? You're looking that way. I don't know where this buddy's looking, but I could pop back. She is not going to go anywhere. It looks like he's going to come here, so we can't we can't strike him this turn. Cannot do that over here. This guy's going that way, but this guy's coming up here. What I could try to do is move up to here and then try to knock this guy out when he's over here. And hope that nobody here spots us. Oh, man. Can you tell my heart is in my throat right now? Because, uh, because it is. Because it is. Alright, Marlin. Don't worry about... We're not suspicious. We're just looking at the wall. It's a beautiful wall. Uh, the graffiti. We're looking at the graffiti. Alright, yeah. Keep looking that way, buddy. Right, he's looking up. Now, first things first, let's just check our options here. He's going to turn back, hopefully... Hopefully... Clockwise. Right? I should be able to knock this guy out. He's gonna get even further away. Do like that. Do like that. Well, let's move up next to him first. Um, is there anybody in here? All right, fine. Yeah, let's move up next to him first. Get a clearer view of the insides and whatnot. Make sure no one's able to spot us. Right? There's no one here. No civilians or anything that can spot us. We're good. Ooh, what could be back here? I wonder if there's some loot in here or something. It's a restricted area. Must be for some reason. Must be for some reason. We'll check it out. Uh, but yeah, nothing in here. Nobody over here who can see us, it looks like. You are looking that way, because you are a fool. Looking at the wall. So I think we can take this guy out. This guy's going to turn back around and again, hopefully, look the other way while he does it. Alright, take him down. Let's go. Bam. Excellent. Beautifully done. And I'm almost tempted to come in through the door and hide in here. Or, like, pop up over here and hide. Just in case the guy turns around. He'll spot the body, but at least he won't get first shots off. Yeah, let's move up. Jeez, I thought it was somebody else. Playing it safe. Alright, let's go in here and check out the loot. Good, this isn't suspicious at all. MU-255. Not familiar with that, but uh, I'll take it anyway. Now, we can't get in here, unfortunately, unless I go through here around this. Oh, man, so many steps to get in there. Might be worth it, though. We don't have... Yeah, we don't have a lockpick on Indigo. It's okay. It's okay. Slow and steady wins the race. Right? Slow and steady wins the race. Alright, we're good. I can pull all the way into here. Now, this isn't actually a restricted zone, is it? No, it's gotta be. Yeah, it's gotta be. So, we'll pull up to here. I wanna turn those cameras off because there's no reason not to. Alright, let's open this door here. No one in here. And Marlin. Let's dispose of this body, please. Firm that. 
Oh, I should have checked first that no one's looking. It's okay, we didn't have- that guy's looking right at us! <laughs> it's okay, we didn't have the red exclamation mark, and that kind of lets you know with some certainty if someone's able to see you or not. Okay, alright, we're cleaning it up over here. Now, why is this a restricted zone? And do I want to go investigate? I mean, maybe this is a potential area where the uh, enemy agent can spawn, maybe that's why? Do I really want to go in there? Move away from the mission. Two pieces of loot collected. One more piece is on this floor, right? We've got the intel here and the loot here. And is there more loot up here? There's intel here. Oh, and there's loot here. There it is. Ooh, laser grid. Got to keep an eye on that. So can't just walk in through here. Oh, is that what this turns off then? Find out soon enough. All right, Marlin, let's loop you back this way. We found all the loot and intel. We know exactly where it is. I want vision now. I want to be able to see up on the higher floors, and I want to take this guy out. If possible. If possible. Okay, Indigo. Are you able to go in and take care of this nonsense? You should be able to. Looks like we're clear. This door takes us out afterwards. No one's able to look down over here or anything like that, so... I hate that it takes two of my movement. Let's go. Yep, that's it. Turns all the laser grids off. Glad I checked that. Marlin, I'm gonna pull you out to over here. All right, just gonna rest up against the wall. Look at this pretty poster. And this will should allow us to see when that guy loops around this way. It also allows us to see up here. Oh, we gotta get up the stairs over here and figure something out. I'm a little concerned about taking that agent down. We do have a rifle on Marlin. That might come in handy, but uh Jeez, I thought it was somebody else. Until then. Oh my god, that always scares the crap out of me. We're okay, we're okay. Alright, there's that agent. Now if I'm not mistaken, he loops back Oh down, he loops back down, eh? I could move over here. I don't know where that lady goes. So let's uh let's move over here. Okay, right. and there she is. So she stays there for at least one turn, supposedly. If she turns to look, we're screwed, but the game does not suggest in any way that she's going to turn to look in our direction. Let's do this. Ooh, who's this? Can you see us? You shouldn't be able to see us. Yeah, confirm the takedown. Let's go. Bam. None's the wiser. Alright, now we're going to roll out of here. Well, I'd like to first come up to here, close the door, and then roll out. There we go. And that way, when we actually walk through, you'll see she uh, opens and closes the door. Just helps keeps the doors closed. Oh, god damn it. The target's going to be active now as well. This is not good. This is not good. Alright. First off, Marlin, let's dispose of this body for, you know, hijinks, for make a foolish mistake and compromise the entire mission. Alright, we're good. Um, now Marlin could move up over here just to get cover from multiple directions. Let's do it. I'm not suspicious, so I'm nothing to worry about. We're all good over here. Now Indigo, I want to take you upstairs. Right? Stairs are right here. They pop us up over here. We should be able to take this person out. She's only got 60 health. She's walking around in this area, looking out the window. We should be able to sneak up on her. Let's, uh, yeah, let's move up to here. And we're in disguise. We should be good. Right? Right. I wish I had some silencers or something, some suppressors or something going on for me. Once we get upstairs as well, not to that level, but this level... There's intel and loot on this floor, so we need to get both of those. Oh, I do not like this. Oh, and our mark's coming outside. Actively looking for my agents. They're going to destroy intel. There's lots going on right now. Now, if I can come up over here, I should be able to take her out without anybody noticing me. Let's see. There's a window over here. 
she's not looking in this direction, but what if she turns to look? That could be a problem. But what if we instead... Oh, this door is locked. Oh, so I gotta go through there. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Where are you going next? Going further down next. So, you know what? Let's, uh... So let's, uh, let's pull through here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, don't mess this up. Don't mess this up, Indigo. Cool, calm, collected. Cool, calm, KGB. K- oh dear. Don't think about the acronym for that, I'm sorry. That was unintentional. Um... Um, alright, so... Marlin. She's got good vision, she's able to see, she'll be able to see through this window as well. She's able to look down this way as well and fire, so I think Marlin's fine where she is, actually. And I'm tempted to... Okay, well, let's just take a look. Smoke screen. Creates a smoke screen that blocks line of sight in, into the area. Fair enough. And tactical spotter we've got on this side, so able to look and reduce dodge. As well as obviously give us vision, which will probably come in handy. I cannot... 109. How am I supposed to deal with that? All right, well, Marlin, you're staying put. Let's hit that end turn. Ah, they're going to turn the cameras on, aren't they? Who are you? You're just a civilian? You're just a civilian. And you're not able to look if I take a picture of the intel. So we're going to do exactly that. Nothing suspicious here. Come on. Come on. There we go. Little selfie. Don't mind the flash. And then i got to go through here to get that loot as well. I Marlin. This is important. Yes, this is important. Marlin, this is very important. It's a guy I gotta do to get some suppressors. I guess we could stay put over here, or I could try moving this way to keep an eye on that agent. No, I'll stay put. Stay put. The cameras are almost certainly turning on, aren't they? Aren't they? I imagine that's why that agent went, uh, why our target actually went into where the camera is. Hmm. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Alright, let's go in and pick up this loot. Well, let's be careful. So we're going to walk in first. Alright, yep, nothing to worry about here. No one can see us. Can you see us? No, you're looking the other way. We're going to pick up that loot. There we go. Excellent. Now, next turn, I should be able to move in and knock this lady out as long as no one's looking at us. So we're going to keep Marlin here yet again. Again, able to see through this window if the person's actually looking up this way. So that works for me. That works for me. Hit that end turn. Marlin's been very stationary this whole uh, mission. <laughs> this whole mission. But that's fine. I prefer it. Indigo, are you able to go in? Yeah, you are. You're able to go in and take her out. What are you doing down here? You're gonna have to, like, breach and enter. It, it really is unfortunate that I have to kill her. Because I can't take her down. Unless I pop a single shot, and then can I use takedown after that? Uh, takedown. Silently incapacitates the target whose HP is lower than that of the attacking agent. Non-lethal against civilians. So I should be able to pop single shots and then uh, and then take her down. I should be able to. Not this person, but the, uh, the target. We're gonna find out. So two turns, go through the door, takedown. Just to be safe, we're gonna use the spotter take a look over here and make sure there's nothing to be worried about. Uh, fine, let's look over here. Confirm that. Yep, no need for the animation. Ah, see, I'm glad I did that. So you're not going to be able to see... You'll be able to see next turn. I don't like that. So you know, we're, we're just... We're going to roll out to over here with Indigo. And we're not... Nothing uh, to suspect here. Take the ladder up through this door to get the intel, so that'll be good. Marlin can stay put. Oh, there's that mark again. I need to keep Marlin away from her prying eyes. Indigo is able to get up here and take her down. You're facing the other way, and you're going to continue that way, so that's good for me. Uh, yes, let's do this. Confirm that. Go, go, Indigo. Let's do this. Bam! Excellent. 
Alright, dispose of the body next time, and where is this agent going? We cannot tell. We do not know. So, we're going to pull... ...over to here, I think. I just don't want Marlin getting recognized or something silly like that, you know? Alright, we should be able to stay put there. I'm gonna go up the ladder. Oh my god, that was risky. I'm gonna go up the ladder next turn, though. Maybe move in to get that intel. Let's dispose of this body first. Please and thank you. Let's not get spotted doing that. I'm just a construction worker. It's just trash that I'm taking out of the construction site. Obviously. Alright, we're good. Now I could go up over here where you're coming back around. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Yeah, and this will give us good vision as well, I should hope. So you know what? Yeah, let's pop on up over to here. She's going to come back around. We'll take her down next turn. Yeah. Indigo, let's get you up here. Climb on up. And can we see the enemy agent? Somewhere over here. I think I'll stay put. I think Marlin will stay put. I'm not sure where that agent's going to be. Where Where are our evac options? One's over here. Ooh, one's right over here, actually. And one's all the way down here. Damn, now's like the time to tag and bag her. Um, <laughs> hmm. Indigo is like deep behind enemy lines, so we can't pull that trigger just yet. Hit that end turn. We're okay. Everything's good. Everything's all right. No one's being anywhere, any, whenever. Wish I could see what was happening in here. There's a civilian here. Well, I can see what's happening in here. Let's get our spotter to spot in this general area. Tactical spotter, yes. Okay, I want to make sure I wasn't, like, popping a smoke screen and letting everybody know that something's going on. Uh, Alright, so yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. You're looking that way, and you're supposedly not moving this turn either, so... Let's go in and take you down. Ooh. You're down here looking that way. You're in here looking away. All right. Let's go. Bam. Excellent. I could actually go in and take the intel right now. She shouldn't be able to see me, so we might as well do that. Come on now. Don't mind the flash. Boom. Last piece of loot over there, but before we get that, obviously we're going to loop back and, and take care of... Uh, of what's left of that body. I think, Marlin, let's tuck you a little bit further into this corner. Super nervous here. Hit that end turn, right? Yes. Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? You're just a civilian. All right, we're okay. Okay, Indigo. Let's go out here, dispose of this body. Yes, please. Nobody should be able to see us, I hope. Oh my god, oh my god, you can see her right through the window. <laughs> okay, there we go. Done. Magic. And now we're gonna creep up towards that last piece of loot. Wow, she could have easily seen us if she was paying attention. But she wasn't. Let's not go through the window, please. There. Try and keep things a little realistic, right? Let, let's keep our immersion alive here. Um, and Marlon's gonna stay put again. Just watching TV. Nothing to worry about. Nothing suspicious about what we're doing here today. Alright, we're almost able to make it... Will we be noticed? No, no, no. We haven't been noticed in the past, so we shouldn't be noticed this time. So, yeah. Move on over. Nothing to worry about. I'd calmed down earlier, but now my heart's all up in my throat again. Oh, no, 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 no. Where are you going? Yeah, that's right. Go back that way. Okay, excellent. Indigo, we're going to pick up this loot. No one should be able to see us. Excellent. So we're 4 for 4 on loot, and we are 2 for 2 on classified docks. Excellent. Now I can go back downstairs this way. There is one agent left over here. Or I can make my way down this way, and we can try and corner our target over here. I think that's the way I want to go. So let's loop on back. Make our way. Marlin's going to stay put. Let's get our spotter to spot here, just to see what's going on. Confirm that. Just so we can see where the agent, the mark is moving next turn. 
and plan accordingly. You are staying put. I like that. You're staying put and you're facing the wrong way. Oh, I wish I could take her down right now. But I can't. But I can't. Ah. Oh. So frustrating. There's only one enemy agent left. What are you doing? <laughs> Some civilian you are. There's Yeah, but there's only one enemy agent left. We're gonna leave her alive, I guess. Just because we're, we're going out of our way to take care of that agent. If she was in our way, that'd be one thing, but she's not. So let's move in to go down. We've... Oh no, are we about to... <sighs> Sorry guys, I was trying to avoid that kind of behavior, those kinds of shenanigans, but uh, apparently it's not always possible. Alright. So, we should be able to... Move Indigo down. No, she won't be able to shoot. So Marlin stays put. What I want to do is one shoots, one goes in for the takedown, and then we should be able to carry out to the evac zone. And in fact, what I think I'll do is call an evac right now. Three turns, six turns we have. So yeah, summon evac. Good. This might, this might, I don't want to jinx it, but this might be a flawless mission, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we might be on to a flawless mission over here. You're still looking that way like a fool. So we're gonna roll on up to here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Slide down that ladder. Oh, okay, I didn't actually mean to slide down that ladder. That's awfully suspicious. And uh, Marlin's staying there. Next turn, we... Uh, I think next... Oh. So they... I see. So agents, you can't actually tell how and where they're going to move all the time. Or ever, potentially. Hurry up. They'll be here any minute now. Okay, well that changes things now, doesn't it? That changes things. Where are you? What tile are you on? You're on this tile, right? So I should be able to move here, go in, shoot with Marlin, take down with Indigo, if that even works, and then carry over towards the evac zone. Right, And I want to stand here because the guard up here will be at these windows, probably able to scuff, get a little bit of scuff damage into Indigo, which is unfortunate, but it's the best we'll be able to pull off, I think. I don't want to wait for her to get further away. We've already called evac, so that's a problem. All right. Now, hypothetically, this should work. Marlin, we're going to pull you up. We're going to shoot with the VZ-61. It does 54 damage. That's enough damage on the burst. And it only costs how much? It costs just a fire point. And it ends the turn. So we should be able to move over here, fire into her back. I want to get as close to evac as possible without, you know, compromising our shot. So we're going to move Marlin to here. Okay. And then Marlin is going to pop a shot with the VZ-61. A single shot? No, I can't risk the zero damage. So we're going to get a little burst in there, right? You still have a fire point, right? You do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Before I pop, pull the trigger on, on a foolish endeavor. So a, a burst fire. All right, this should work out. This should work out. Let's go. Nice. Reinforcements in two turns. Crazy. Indigo. So we cannot... We can. Excellent. Take down. Go. Bam! Mission target incapacitated. Copy team. Okay. So that's one turn. Now reinforcements. Where the hell are you going to come from? Good. We dodged it. Awareness is down to zero though. What other enemy activity is going on? There better not be a bunch of like guards over here or something. I didn't expect reinforcements in two turns. Normally it takes three turns, but... Guess the game decided to screw me this time. Now just a bunch of civilians running around. We're okay, we're okay. Evac will arrive now, excellent. Come on, come on, come on, divide, divide, divide. Let's go, let's go. We have no time to waste here. All right, so we are able to pick you up in four turns, we should be able to make it. We'll be able to make it, so not stabilize, pick up agent. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Go, 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 go. Faster, faster, faster. You gotta move a lot faster, Indigo. You gotta Indigo, go, 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 go. Uh, that's weird. 
Oh, okay, there we go. That was a bit of a strange bug, but I'll, I'll, I'll accept it. Uh, let's move up. I want to move up and stay in cover. Like, Marlin can get pretty close to the target, but I think we want to pull her up to here. And then next turn, she should be able to make it for sure, right? So let's uh, pull you up to here. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to pull you up to here. We're going to uh, pop that VZ-61 into Overwatch. Give us some good coverage over here. And Indigo, we're going to move you. Oh my god, do we want to leave her in the open? Just for that one extra step? Let's do it. It's a bit of a risk, but I think it'll be worth it. Alright, let's go. We're hobbling over. And now we're going to pop that smoke screen. Of course, this would come back to bite us. Of course. We can only shoot up to, like, here. Everything else is blocked. Well, you know what? Just for the sake of, of pulling this, in case reinforcements arrive somewhere over here, try and block their line of fire, right? So let's go in over here, which I think is as far as we can get. Not going to give us any cover, but let's see how it looks. Let's see how it looks. Confirm that. Okay, that's pretty boss. Oh yeah, the smoke does stay. I was about to say it's like I wish I would I wish the smoke would stay. It does stay. Excellent. So that is our turn, Indigo. You're stuck over here. Uh, you can't shoot or anything. You have any abilities? You can put down Agent Pop Zen. Might as well do that. Get that awareness regeneration in case we start getting shot at. And that's the end turn. All right, reinforcements arriving now. Hopefully they're not all arriving over here or anything insane like that. Doesn't look like it. I think we're two turns away from getting getting out of here. Two turns. Don't sneak up on me we're good. Like that. Indigo can get... Oh, really? We're just short. Just short. Ah. Oh. All right, well, Marlin... You're able to get in there and then stay there. So I'm wondering if I want to expose her, if not necessary. So Indigo, we're going to get you up to here. The other option is to stay in full cover over here and... Mm, I think that's worth it. We'll move up to here. Let's go. Oh, we have, we have full awareness. We should be somewhat safe. This will give us some vision as well. Where is that agent? You're still up there, hiding in the window. All right, Marlin does have a rifle. So if I wanted to, I could pull up to here, try to pop shots on that agent, just to get some uh, suppressing fire in there, so to speak. You know, theoretically speaking, not technically speaking. So yeah, let's get Marlin over to here. Or wait, to fire the rifle, we need one movement point, right? So the furthest she could go is actually, well, I guess we could just Flip her around over here, turn around and open shots. Let's do it. Just because Marlin's cool like that. Full auto, not going to cause a lot of damage here, but... Uh, you know, suppression, and it, it's cool. Right? We're going for the cool factor a little bit, right? Hell yeah, we are. Come on. Let's go. Alright, good, good. Just grazed a little bit, but that's fine. That's fine. Not about the damage here. Damn leaves are scaring me. Indigo, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. What I could have done actually is use the spotter to reduce the dodge ability over there, but too late now. Let's hit that end turn. Oh, here we go. Okay, we dodged that one. I'm glad I'm using Zen. What else? What else? What else you got? That's a civilian. I was like, oh no, that's like basically point blank. Alright, we're good. Indigo, you've got the target, so you go in first. Actually counterintuitive, because just in case there was Overwatch somewhere. Marlin, let's pop you in. And that was a good, clean, flawless mission. Let's go. We got the agent, we got the intel, and we got all of the loot. I'm feeling very good about that. Oh my god, that feels good. Oh, I can finally breathe a sigh of Soviet relief. 
Oh man, that was intense. That was intense. Mission result success. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, that feels good. All right, let's see what we can do with this agent. All right, so above top secret. So this is the uh, where we are in the chapter right now. Unfortunately, there was no loading screen that actually read this, but the Gru are too corrupt to do anything about Snowcat. Our only hope of stopping the hijack of the K-429 is to find Patriot, the mysterious operative who's been sending us orders and warnings since this affair began. So that's why we're chasing after all this intel to figure out what's going on over here. Oh my god. Yeah, that, feels, that feels really good. So... We have got ourselves some Bone Crushers. Oh, that's cool. It's a type of ammunition for LMGs, SMGs, rifles, pistols, revolvers, and sniper rifles. Helps slow enemies down. Cool. We've got the MU-255. It's a shotgun. Nice. And the LMG-26, which unsurprisingly is an LMG. And we've got Fortress, an enemy agent. All right, so we've also unlocked some training, covert operations, three new pieces of intel for the Patriot dossier, and two new pieces of intel for diversion methods. We don't know what that is. Um, but yes, let's let's uh, continue. New perks for Marlin, new training, and new perks for Indigo. That's a lot of experience gained. Let's take a look at these Agent Dossier. And Agent Fortress has been questioned, then eliminated. Oh, what? I guess we're not there yet, but at least with the CIA, you get to a point, I think when you have M MK Ultra available, you get to a point where you can actually uh, get, like, trigger words, so you can actually put an agent, you can plant agents, you can... Um, uh, torture them for information, you can use them as double agents, things like that. I'm sure it'll happen for the KGB as well, but maybe further down the line. Anyway, Agent Fortress has been questioned and then eliminated, giving us three more pieces for the Patriot dossier, which means we should be able to solve that. Awesome, thank you very much. Now, Indigo, you have some training available. What is this Covert Ops 2? Example made. Killing an enemy reduces awareness of nearby enemies. That is a horrifying image for that. Makes us proficient with the Cobra and the Wembley. Takes a day and 12 hours to train it. We definitely should look into training Indigo some more. And a new perk available for Indigo as well. Gifted, bonus XP for missions. I'd say she was gifted. Did you see her in that last mission? Masochist, improves damage threshold. Vietnam veteran, increases the width of the Overwatch cone. Survivor, increases maximum hit points. Might actually want to do Survivor here. And then Kodiak, of course, still has trainings available. Marlin, you've got a new perk available as well. Cold-blooded, Survivor, gifted, or peripheral vision. Hmm, something to think about. Something to think about. Let's look at the workshop first. Better negotiations methodology. Reduces the time it takes an informer to reveal secret documents. Might look into that when we have a little bit more money available. To be perfectly honest, I think I want to wait. And uh, apart from that, we're going to go into our investigation board. We almost have all the intel we need for the Patriot dossier. And only two for the diversion methods. So we'll let, let's see, these files intercepted from Beholder Communications and Internal Memos document how Beholder Initiative uses pop uses uses popular conspiracy theories and unexplained events to create a whole layer of decoys that muddle the image of the true extent of the initiative's influence on world events that will be very interesting to read through but for now let's work on the patriot dossier uh so yeah we've got patriot in here All right this is what we did last time let's please there we go got some more intel calamari why do i remember i remember feeling like calamari Okay, I must have seen it elsewhere. All right, all right, all right, and all right. Ooh, well, there's Calamari again. I'm really feeling like it. Foxtrot Dancer, saw it right here. Boom, there we go. Patriot's connected, but we'll leave that for last. Uh, nothing else, it looks like. I mean, Yuri Andropov right there. All right, let's read through this. So, memo number, who knows? Girl Friday. Definitely a code name. Lots of redacted information. Why so many of them might be needed in Belvedere? We'll pay in usual amount of disgusting uncooked hot dogs upon receipt of useful intel. Mmm, hot dogs. Security is a major concern. Make sure this document is out of reach of unauthorized personnel. Whoops. All right. Mmm, no connections yet. Over here, take note. Welcome to Redacted. As you commence your duties in Night Warden, you will be asked to follow these simple rules. Redacted. This is especially important for big orchestra reports. Redacted. Girl Friday is literally able to kill you for it. Alright. Uh, that sounds good. So, Girl Friday and Girl Friday and Night Warden. I could have sworn. Yep, there it is. Alright, what's over here? A lot of redacted information. The exact list goes. Redacted, redacted, buccaneers, redacted, 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 and redacted. Redacted, can you make any sense of this? Should I send it up to Knight Errant? So, Knight Errant. 
is right over here. Buccaneers, right over here. Uh, we haven't seen... Oh, we have seen Wisecracker. We haven't seen Index Strata. Let's move this up to here. Trying to organize ourselves a bit more. So this is done. This is almost done. Big Orchestra. We've already tagged. Index Strata, we haven't seen. Obsidian Eyes, we haven't seen anywhere else. Well, let's connect some of these dots at least. Oh my god, this is such a mess. I, I can't, I can't... I need this to be organized. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, there, there. Okay, minimal crossovers, minimal crossovers. I would have the neatest investigation board if I was actually in the KGB or CIA or anything. Alright, Patriot. What do we got? Boom! Alright, Patriot dossier has been analyzed. Conspiracy cell revealed at Leningrad. And two new agent candidates, Vampire and Magpie. Beautiful absolutely beautiful so over at leningrad you can see i guess the next uh main mission here conspiracy base of operations the hub of beholder activity in the area affects income by negative 10. okay so we can do some tactical recon we can go in for the assault and uh odessa is the next special mission go to patriot in odessa well we're going to take care of leningrad first we need to wipe out the beholder cell especially if they're affecting our income here as you can see they are can't have any of that um, and then we're gonna we're gonna go in for the uh, special mission as well. Now, do I want to do some trainings before I do that? Might as well, right? Like I've got the options. Uh, Walker is being healed up, but yeah, I could train Merlin. Kodiak's traveling out right now, but Indigo's available and at uh, at home base at HQ. So we could uh, give her some training. We could give her another perk as well. A lot of stuff to think about, but I will hold off until next session we have just about come to that hour mark we're a little short but uh, if i kick anything else off for a, or if i do anything more complex we will go well over that hour i'm pretty sure so we'll save that for the next episode that will be out on thursday again trying to do this every other day saturdays are my off day so sundays tuesdays and thursdays should be episodes of phantom doctrine as always if you guys are enjoying the series please do not hesitate to let me know by dropping a like and a comment down below makes a very big difference in how I approach content on the channel. And as always, again, I would like to give a massive thanks to my patrons who support this channel on a month-to-month -month basis, keeping it alive and running smoothly. If your name should be on here and it's not yet on here, make sure you drop a comment on my latest Patreon post as well. A massive thanks, of course, to each and every one of you for watching. Till next time, Das Vidanya. <laughs>